Today I'm going to show you the solo duplication exploit in Dying Light 2. This is the one going around all over the internet. Apparently some small YouTube found it. A guy named Xyloid? Maybe someone else found it, but that's who I was told. So I'm going to link that in the description, his channel. So go subscribe to that guy to uh, show him support for finding this. Uh, but I'm going to explain to you not just the exploit like everyone else is talking about. I'm going to explain to you why this exploit works and what how you can abuse it better than everyone else. So all these other uh, vi uh, videos talking about it, I haven't really watched many of them, but they uh, don't really know what's happening, okay? I know exactly what is happening. And if you, knowing what ha is happening is so important for getting this to work to the fullest. Now, if you know what's happening, you can actually duplicate unbelievable amounts of items unbelievably fast, way better than the co-op exploit. So much better than the co-op exploit. The only catch is this only works on stackable items. So for example, I have these arrows. That you can do it on, you can do it on uh, any kind of stackable. So you can do it on grenades, you can do it on landmines, you can do it on medicine, you know, anything like that. And the other catch is you are going to have to have at least one full stack and a little bit left over, but ideally you're gonna want almost two full stacks. Now here's how it's gonna work. You're going to go to your stash, and I'm gonna try to explain what is happening here, okay? So we go to our arrows. And we have all these arrows. Ideally, what we want is we want a stack that is almost full, one away from being full. And here's why. So we're going to drop this, drop all those. Now we only have full stacks, okay? We're going to take one away from the first stack. Just one. Uh, it might move it somewhere else. Okay, now we got 59. So what's going to happen here is we go to our stash and we're going to go to the arrows. And we are going to move 59 arrows into the stash. Now, sometimes it, does, it doesn't weird, and I'll explain that in a second. But ideally, what will happen here is we will move all, and a different stack will it'll take the 59 from a different stack. So now, if we go in there, we've got 59. Okay, everything's normal so far, right? Well, here's where, where the exploit comes in. Now we have this stack of one, and we're going to put in another 59. And what it'll do is it will move 59, but it'll do it from this other stack that only has one. And so while you only have one, it'll move the 59, but it'll only remove the stack of one. So if you move this max, the stack of one is gone and the 59 is still in here. It moved that stack of one, but it credited you for the full 59. So the way that you can abuse this super fast and make like insanely fast uh, duplication is just move the 59 over and over again with a bunch of full stacks so like the, the once you get going you can go faster and faster and faster you get more and more per cycle so now we've got uh this many to do so we're just gonna do move the 59 we're gonna move the 59 move the 59 and every time it goes okay there's one and it just duplicated 58 there's one whoops and it just duplicated 58 and there's one and it duplicated 58 and we duplicated another 58, and we duplicated another 58, and another 58, and, and then we run out at the end. Okay, so now we're gonna go into here, and as you can see, we have way more arrows than we started with. So here's where it starts to get exponential. So now you need to move all these arrows back. Uh, the duplication the other way, I don't think it works taking them back in, or it didn't seem to work for some reason taking them back. Uh, there's actually a limit to how many arrow stacks I can carry, apparently, unless it's just broken. So you're gonna be limited to a certain number here. I may have to go sell. So it might be this might be the limit for this. Okay. Oh, I only have so many inventory slots for ammunition is what it probably is. So then what we would do now to do this again is go back to our inventory. We're going to drop one single arrow from one stack. And then we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to move the 59 and 59 and 59 and 59 every single time. It's duplicating 58 with each stack. And this is how you can do this to the fullest. And you'll probably make some insane money. I'm, I'm going to take a look like what other items can you do this for? Um, but also we're going to be limited by space restrictions because apparently you can only have so many items in storage or a messed it up. I think it's messed it up right there. Maybe we can't have someone only so many items in storage. But we're going to be capped on how fast you can do it because your, your inventory can only hold so many. But you see now we obviously have way more arrows than we started with. So I'm going to grab all these and then I'm just going to go what sell them I guess. I mean, these ones, I don't know how much fire arrows are even worth, to be honest with you. I mean, it looked, but uh, you could do, you get the point of how you could do this to make ridiculous, ridiculous money uh, really fast. I don't know, can you even sell arrows? 
I don't know if you can even sell the arrows, come to think of it. Our arrows might not be something you can sell. So you want to do this with, like, uh, medicine or resources, which I don't know what a resource full stack is. Maybe 999, or is it 9,999? Not entirely sure uh, what that would be. But uh, you get how you could really quickly duplicate this for some, not just insane money, but anything that you want, basically. Now I've got an example that I'm actually going to make money with. And here is how to get started on this. So when you don't have enough, here's a way to jump start it. You don't have to wait till you get a giant stack. You just need one stack and a little bit more than another stack. What you can do is you can put away the full 99, except for one. Put away 98. Now move the 13. Move 13 again. Now we got 25 and 99. Now we're going to move all these back. You're going to do the same thing again, except for one. Move the 25, and it'll duplicate another 25. Now we're up to 150. All right, repeat the process one more time. We should have two full stacks. Okay, now we got two full stacks, and now we can do it the crazy way. Okay. And we just duplicated on the way back, too. So that's good. Uh, so same thing. Now we've got a ton. Uh, move them back. Okay, now we got more. And then we're going to do the same thing again. All right, now we've got an absurd amount. And I don't think that it duplicates on the way back every time the same way. I'm just, I don't think. So I think that's the max we can carry. So now we have to put one away of something. Now we got 98. Here we go. Got to find the 98 again. Oh, nope. That's not going to work. So we're going to have to, I guess, drop one. So let's drop one. Uh, drop one. It depends. It's a little because Sometimes it'll want to, you know, which slot is the first one that wants to pull from. So you just got to keep trying until you get the right one. Uh... Yeah, now we're in a weird spot. Same kind of issue here. Uh, so it wants to pull from that one when we drop these. So we got 96. Here's a way to get out of this, I assume. We can get our backpack. Or we go to here, I guess. Okay. So 96 is the stack that it wants to take from. So let's create another stack that's missing one. There we go. Now we'll see what happens here. So uh, you keep playing with it until you can get it like this. So move all the 98. And it did not move from the 98. Move from a different one. We found one that works. So if you if it ends up being the one like if you get it to where like see now 98 was the one that it wanted to go through so uh, you just gotta play with it till you find like the one that is not the one it wants to go into go into with and then just kind of repeat the process. So now let's try this again. So I have to do one more reset here of this. Uh, see if we can get lucky and get that one. Is this gonna be the one? Where's the 98? 98. Move it. All right, we got a good one here. Sort of. Uh, maybe another way to do this, actually, come to think of it. If we go to this, we want to pull from the top one and the bottom one, because one of those two is going to work. So let's see if that is a better strategy. That might be the strat. Let's find out. So move this. Okay. Let's move that. I see where it's moving from now, so we're going to move this one. All right. Well, kind of a disaster on that one, but we're duplicating. So you get the point of how to do this. Let's see how much money we just made. We just turned you know, what is it, a hundred of those things into thousands. So now we're going to go to sell them, and we're going to see how much money we actually get from this. We have 891. We're going to sell. Oh, we don't need to sell 891. We'll just sell. I don't even want to sell that many, actually. Let's sell like 450. Sell. And now I've got 2,700, and now I'll go right back in there and do this again. So this you can do this for money, too. Uh, you got to, you know, the better the item that you're using, the more you're going to be able to make. So there's a lot of potential here to make some crazy money duplicating, which I may touch. I'm going to touch on in another video. I'm going to touch on how to get the max amount of money from this in another video, probably. But that is the item duplication exploit. That is how it works. It is with stackables only for this. But if you're willing to do it with stackables, you can duplicate so much faster than even with that co-op exploit that went around on the Internet. So now, you know, the solo duplication exploits I like to and how it works and how to abuse it.